Hello everyone and welcome to San Francisco. My name is Jarrett Lanner. I'm an RF applications engineer from Analog Devices and I'm in the Aerospace and Defense Group. Um, I'm here today and I would like to talk to you a little bit about the newest industry leading digital to analog converter. It's the AD9164 and it's a 16-bit 12 giga sample per second digital to analog converter. Uh, what's significant about that is the high sample rate gives you your first Nyquist zone up to around six gigahertz. So you can now put tones or modulated schemes up to six gigahertz. The AD9164 is a 11 by 11 BGA package and again allows you to have direct RF into the LNS bands. Now, RF engineers will understand that direct RF is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's the golden challenge. It's what everyone wants to do. Get rid of mixers, mixing spurs, get rid of up conversion, get rid of super heterodyne type of uh, uh, topology. And the, that's a, uh, again, we're enabling that. We're making that technology possible with the AD9164 uh, digital analog converter. Now with that converter comes the uh, inherent sine X over X kind of roll off of the output. So at three and a half gigahertz, what, what I'm showing here, there is uh, about minus two dBm uh, power level. So to uh, increase that, I've added an RF board that's kind of couples with this. Some filtering, the ADF5602 power amplifier, about 19 dB again there, and then another filter, and then the HMC1114 GAN in a plastic package power amplifier. So what's important about this GAN in plastic package is that the junction temperatures for GAN is pretty high. So Normally, you don't put GAN in this plastic package, but our packaging engineers have uh, advanced the technology such that we can get this, uh, enable this uh, plastic package with 10 watts of output power. Also with GAN comes a very specific need for power sequencing. You have to take the gate very low, and then you have to take the, uh, the drain voltage, which was about 28 volts, and then you have to apply the RF. All that's accomplished with the ADM1186 sequencing monitor, and with these few components that you can get right out of the catalog, all these components released, so with these very few components, you enable a, uh, an S-band radar type signal with a very, very small size, weight, and power. And what I'm showing here is a chirp, a 500 megahertz chirp, so half a gig of linear FM with just a few components here. That's something that radar and other ARF designs uh, are really looking for. So I invite you to come on over to the booth and have a look at this. If, you make it to San, if you've made it to San Francisco, if not, feel free to look at this video and plenty of others at analog.com backslash ADEF, all ADEF, all, ADEF, all the time. Thank you.